524 Carroll Way here in Sandy Springs, Georgia. Today we are looking at this six bedroom, seven bathroom, three half bathroom, 10,000 square feet. It's built in 2022 and they're asking $5,699,000. And before we get started on the tour, I just wanna to say thank you to the listing agent, Eugene with Colwell Banker for allowing us to do this tour. And on that note, let's get started with the front. All four sides of the home are brick with white mortar. You have a five car garage with raised panel carriage doors. This house has also been wrapped for energy efficiency, which means that you'll save tons on electricity. It also has natural gray stones on the floor as you're walking up from the path from the driveway all the way to the front door. As we come up to the front porch, you have standing seam metal and cedar columns with brick surrounding. As soon as you come in, the first thing that I noticed right away is how tall the ceilings were. You know, it goes all up to that second story, so you can see from there, you can see the living rooms in front of you, and then you have the office and dining room on your left and right. So here is the executive office, and just like the front door, just like all the windows, all the rooms have these doors with iron, you know, frames, which is really nice. And then all the natural light in here because of the windows that started the floor, and then you have a gas fireplace. I wanna do some work in here, I don't know about you. But when it comes time to eating, my second favorite thing to do after working, you have the dining room across. So this is your formal dining room, the same windows as I said over there with the iron starting from the floor going to almost to the top. And then the cool feature about this room is that you actually have like a wine room. So you can see the bottles that you would have here, you access it from the other side, but it doesn't close off. So it just flows, the whole theme of this place is just flowing in and out from one side to the other. Let's just follow the flow then straight into the living room. And then here we have it. The formal living room, you have a fireplace over there again, a couple places to sit and lounge. You have these huge sliding iron doors to take you in and out from the living room to the patio area. Over here, we have one of the two main suites. This is the suite that you would use on the first floor if you want to be downstairs rather than upstairs. So let's take a look at this one. Huge space, it's not furnished, so try to visualize it but you have the same windows, no neighbors on your right, so it's total privacy from this room. The California King, Georgia King, if they have one of those, fits perfectly in here. And the closet is also pretty spacious, look at this. And again, this is just one of the two. You know, there's another main suite, this is just one of them, so not too bad, not too bad. And let me show you the bathroom. The bathroom is the cool part. Right here, walking in, the silhouette of this, look at this. You have the farmhouse style door that slides and it takes you in to your grand bathroom. Soak in tub in the center, the marble everywhere, the quartz countertops, this walk-in shower, two shower heads, and then you just have little windows looking out into the trees. Skylights above, but the amount of natural light in here is amazing. And so let's actually come back across and head towards the kitchen. Coming down, we have a half bathroom right here for your guests, which is really great because if you're entertaining and people are in the living room or the TV room or the kitchen, bathroom's right here, nice and private but into the kitchen. It's completely customized by kitchen and bath designs. You know, we have the quartz on the countertops. We have a Wolf stove with six burners, two ovens, marble backsplash, the vent above. And then a cool feature is that instead of having the dual fridge, you have a fridge on one side and a freezer on the other side. So you're not wasting space because it's the same amount of capacity. It's just split down the middle. And then in the middle, we kind of like a little bar area, microwave down below, storage, a lot of lights. And then we come down to this side, two dishwashers, because this is a big house, you know, 10,000 square feet. You gotta have two dishwashers to host everybody. The sink is a farmhouse style with the brushed nickel, and then the prep sink is the same thing. Brushed nickel, but while you're over here prepping, you're looking at the forest, the cool architecture of the home. It's a nice scene. Down below, ice maker. A lot of drinks are happening, a lot of parties. You need the ice maker at all times. And then, wine cooler. And then the best part is, I know you're thinking, Jason, what the heck, this big kitchen, no pantry, where's my food going? Let me show you. You do have a pantry over here, and it's sizable. It goes from one end to the other, a whole wall of stuff. So there's no complaints. I don't wanna hear a word about that. As you come a little bit further down from the kitchen, we have a breakfast nook. That's right, I said nook. The Hallmark morning scene is right over here. And then this is where I would put the TV room. You know, you have a fireplace in the center, TV on the wall, sectional, a couple chairs, but windows that start at the floor and they have this really cool iron frame and you can see outside, it almost feels like I just walk through them. So let's actually go out through the patio so I can show you your outdoor space. Obviously, we're in Georgia, so there's a lot of wildlife, a lot of nature, mosquitoes, that type of thing. Rather than get your mosquito spray and spray all that, you know, the chemicals on you, you have this really cool feature where you can close this motorized screen 
and you could sit in here and have a meal unbothered. Fireplace, again, the fireplaces are chasing us around. Another one, DJ Khaled. Skylights above, look at that. So while you're sitting here, you still get the natural light. You still have a fan. You can still see into your house and be included with everybody. It's really nice. And then this is just the icing on the cake. And then coming down towards the pool. As I said, it's very chilly today. So having a pool that's not heated would be a huge problem. Thankfully, we don't have that problem. This is a saltwater heated pool and it's surrounded by this gray stone patio, which just looks amazing out here. And looking back on the house, the architecture of it's amazing. I can see the whole space and the yard is so private. All I see is some trees, some squirrels, some birds. I love it out here. But now let's finish up technically the first floor. I wanna take you through the garage and show you a surprise. Follow me. All right, back through the kitchen to the surprise. We're gonna pass the mud room. This is where your laundry will be as well. You have access to the front. These are, this is access to your two car garage. Let me just open this door so you can see. Two car garage right over here. Cool. And then as we come through, this is the second bathroom I was telling you about. So if you have guests using that one, they can use this one instead. And this actually also goes out towards the pool. So think about this as like your cabana bath. But this through the three car door garage, this is where the surprise is. So think about this, like you have that family member that wants to live in, but doesn't want to be connected with the house. You want to make this like an Airbnb. You know, we all have our opinions, whatever you want to do. This is a spot where you can do it because it has its own access. So no one has to come through the house. They can come in through right here and then it takes them up. So up here, this is basically a studio apartment. Literally, I mean, look at this kitchen. You have the full four burner stove, microwave sink, dishwasher, full fridge, a pantry in here. Better than most people's pantries in their apartments. In this huge space. So you have a TV room technically, a place where you can put a study, a full ensuite with a shower and all. It's just a really cool space. And so from here, let's actually head back to the main part of the house. And let me take you downstairs into the basement to show you more surprises. Back through the kitchen again. We have the option of the stairwell. We can either go up or go down. For now, let's go down so I can show you what this has to offer into your finished basement. So in here, we have it all. So a wet bar with ice maker, dishwasher, wine cooler, storage above. There's a bathroom. There's this huge space. You can make this, I don't know, so many different things. In the, and you can't say gym, you can't say like studio or office because there's those spaces already. So on my left, this is a gym. You know, it has the rubber mat floors so you can get a good workout in here with some window for natural light. Across from this, we actually have a bedroom. So this could be a guest bedroom, this could be an art studio, a study, I mean, really anything you can imagine or just like a downstairs bedroom for guests because you have this space with its own ensuite and closet. We'll come down across. I know you might be thinking, well then Jason, this could be a good like TV movie room. That won't work either because you have a movie theater. And the best part is, is it's laid out with the platform seating. So you get the couches up there, big screen over there, room for electronics. So you tell me YouTube, but from here, let's cut back upstairs so I can show you the second main suite and the rest of the guest bedrooms, follow me. Up to the second floor now. Before we get into the main suite, down over here, we actually have three more guest bedrooms and they all have the same cool windows. They have tons of space, their own en suites. It's pretty perfect for them. They're gonna be really happy, but I wanna focus on the main suite. So when we walk in, look at this, huge. The ceiling heights are ridiculous for being on the second floor. The bed is just a little bit bigger than a king size bed, so you got extra space and of course, a fireplace. But that's not all, you also have a wet bar with wine cooler, storage, cabinetry, wake up every morning, make a mimosa, make a coffee, you have it right here. And then just next to it, the closet. Perfectly designed, it's kind of like his and hers, but open style. So you have his on one side, hers on the other side with an island, place to put some shoes, try on some shoes, mirrors, everything. And then through there is your laundry room. So you just do the laundry, place it back in here, it's that easy. But when we come through and cross over to the bathroom, that's where it really turns up. So we walk in here through this farmhouse style door and check it out. Ceiling heights continue and on the ceilings we have the skylights. 
dual sinks, dual toilets, and then this walk-in shower has marble up to the top, double entry, double shower head. And so I wanna leave you with one last scene before I say goodbye, which is over here. Right by the stairwell, looking out into your front yard, you can see the privacy. I just wanna say thank you for coming on this tour with us. If you enjoy this tour, don't forget to hit subscribe. We're gonna go back to Miami in a couple days, so the next tours will be coming from there. And I hope you have a great day. I love you, I care about you, care about you more than any other YouTuber cares about their audience, and that's a fact, and I'll see you the next one. Have a good day.